G'day. Today I'm going to spend five minutes demoing Linux Kit. So for those who don't know, Linux Kit was announced last month at DockerCon. And what Linux Kit allows you to do is build small, lightweight, uh, composable Linux-based OSs for running containers. And if you're familiar with Docker, it's really easy to actually create very lightweight OSs. So there are multiple benefits from why you would want to do this, from running very lightweight uh, OSs with only the bits you need. They're composable, which means you can put them in CI in your source control and actually manage these images over the lifetime and only put the things you need uh, to run the tools that you want in your Linux. So it's really cool and I've been really excited to get my hands on it. So it just so happens this week I was working on uh, testing something on Kubernetes and I thought wouldn't it be cool to actually change my local setup to use Linux Kit. So I took a poke around on GitHub and found that somebody had ha already actually put together a bunch of projects in the project directory and Kubernetes was one of them. So this was great. Um, and you can see here it's a very lightweight way to actually spin up uh, a Kubernetes cluster. So I'm going to go ahead and demo that. Now um, all you need to do is go to this repo and run um, make all and you'll get Linux Kit which is used to run uh, the VM images that are created by Moby. So Moby was another announcement and uh, you can take a look at the Moby repo as well. Um, and Moby actually compiles the VM images that are run by Linux Kit. So I'm going to pop over here quickly before we do anything and just show you, um, I mentioned they were composable. So you can see here it looks much, it reads much like um, a Docker file kind of. So we have the kernel image, some command line arguments that we're passing in, and then we compose this operating system with some base level init. So we've got init, run C, container D, and some C asserts, and then a bunch of other containers, sysctl, sysfs, uh, bin fumped, and a few others. And if we go down here, dhcp, openntp, sshd, some um, certificates, docker ce, and we go all the way down here and we actually have uh, the, what this repo will build which is the latest Kubernetes uh, binaries and, and run them in containers. So the Linux operating system is actually composed of all these elements which are in turn run as containers under that operating system. Um, and then some mount points here for CNI. So what I'm going to demo now is actually using Linux Kit. Straight off this repo, I actually have a branch um, because I was testing against 162 and 163. The repo is still on 161, so it's fairly easy to, to update and build it yourself. So what I'm going to do here is actually run um, Bootmaster. Okay, and what this is going to do is run Linux Kit and pass in the uh, the memory, the CPU, the disk size, and the image name and go ahead and spin up a Linux box using Linux Kit. So this is really cool. If I go over to this other window and just grab master, you should see that here's HyperKit. So HyperKit's actually being called and is running on this machine using um, Docker for Mac um, Edge. So you need Edge to have all the networking set up, but it's calling HyperKit under the hood. So I have a Linux box here. Um, in this Linux box, you should be able to see, if I look at run, what's running under Run C, you can see all these different bundles, DHCP, Docker, Kubelet, NTP, um, and a few others here, SSHD. So everything's actually running inside a Run C container, which is really slick, and you saw that that booted really quick. So I'm going to grab the IP address of this and um, get a command prompt on it so we can go and kick it off here. So I'm going to use another tool in this repo called ssh um, to kubelet. Um, let me make sure I have this. Yep, ssh into kubelet. Okay, and I'm going to give it the IP address of that. This is going to spin up a container, ask me, and enter. It's actually going to do a run C exec. So here I'm inside the kubelet container on that Linux VM that I just started. So we should be able to, I've got all the tools um, in here to run a cube cuddle. Actually, we're going to use kubeatom, kubeatom init here. So I'm going to init a brand new Kubernetes cluster on the master. 
how cool is this? So I'm actually inside the Kubelet container running on that lightweight VM that I uh, created under Linux Kit. So we're waiting, okay, so we've created a master here, so I should be able to go kubectl get nodes, and it should be a single node cluster. And why don't I just kick off a nodes dash w. So I'm gonna take this token in the join statement here and run a boot node. I'm gonna give it a node number, and I'm just gonna pass in the token as an argument, which is gonna give the, the token and the IP address of the master, which we grab from here and give it the port. So this should run a join. Okay, so again, we're gonna spin up a node. This is another VM, um, Linux Kit VM running on my machine here. And down the bottom here, I'm actually waiting for it to boot. Um, it has booted, we're ready to go. Um, and what we should see here is that it registers. Okay, so it's just in the process of coming up. Okay, so now we see we actually have two nodes, and they're both not ready. Um, I'm using kubeatom, and I haven't actually loaded um, any networking in at the moment. So let's just pop over to our friends at Calico, and we'll just grab a kubeatom. Let's have a look. So here's actually a YAML file that I can install to put Calico networking on here. So pop back and do a kubectl. Uh, apply dash f and I'll apply that so it'll go through and create all those pants cube cattle get pods cube system and once all the networking elements come up I should indeed have everything go into ready state all my nodes so we're still at not ready once these containers get created on both the node the calico nodes they'll register um, the CNI config down and, and Kubernetes will pick that up. So I'm really excited to play with Linux Kit a little bit more. Um, it's, it's great that I have gotten this far in very little time. I literally spent um, 15 minutes on it today and I have this up and running. Um, and I'm able to build a, a Kubernetes 163 cluster with full network, adding nodes, doing the join, going through the whole Kubeatom experience and actually loading up CNI. And the problem I was trying to troubleshoot actually was working with CNI. So this was a perfect test bed. Um, you can see that both nodes are ready. And in five minutes, we have something up and running that's usable, it's composable. Uh, I can destroy it and bring it back in a matter of minutes um, and go from there. And it's all in source control, which is fantastic. So really excited for the future of Linux kit. Uh, thanks for watching um, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.